This is a Thunder Game Report. Hi, guys, by the way. Stephen, how did you think you, you played in, uh, on the European trip? Uh, personally, I think I did. Mm, I didn't do everything that I wanted to accomplish. Um, I set myself goals to try to do, well, it's kind of do everything that the coaches said perfectly, which is kind of high expectation. But, yeah, so I didn't actually reach my personal goals that I actually wanted to do. But we still won, which is all that matters. So, yeah. Steven, just getting back to work here at the facility today, uh, how much is just a continuation of what you guys were doing uh, over in Europe? How much of, of uh, it? A continuation of, of the work you got in in, in Europe happened here today. Um, yeah, well, it's, all today's practice was was just pretty much, well, it just exposed all our weaknesses and stuff like that. So we're just focusing on all the weaknesses that we have to, you know, get stronger with and whatnot. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. Are there, are there a few specific areas that you all are concentrating on right now? Um, there's there's quite a lot. You know, we're we're, we're doing all of it. Like it's, you know, we're, we're we're focusing mainly on the weaknesses, but then we're also, you know, still critiquing everything else. So it's a large variety. I don't want to be naming. Sure. Take a while. Yeah. A couple of weeks into this thing, how are you feeling? Uh, you know, what are you discovering about the process compared to your expectations coming in? What am I discovering about the process? About the process, you know, just training camp. I mean, is it meeting your expectations? Are you, you know, you um, feeling comfortable? Yeah. Well, personally, I didn't really have expectations and and that sort of sense, like, oh, yeah, what well, training camp's got to be like. But uh, I have my own expectations, and that's pretty much just to work as hard as I can every day with whatever they ask for. And I thought I'd been doing a pretty good job of it. But, yeah, training camp, it's, it ain't no joke. Okay, You know what I mean? It's... It's very tough, but yeah, it's going good. What more do you want to do? What Pardon? more do you want to show on the court? Show on the court? It's mainly uh, all I'm focusing on is just the defensive coverages and talking and stuff. It's, it's a, once you're in the game, especially, oh, well, me personally, once I'm in the game, it's going very, very fast for me. You know what I mean? There's so much to think about, so I kind of have to slow myself down and work on the defensive stuff before anything else. Yeah. So are you getting, is it a process to get as comfortable as you can with your new teammates and with the system and the speed of the game and all like that? Um, yeah, well, with the uh, teammates, you know, it definitely is a process. You can't really rush that. It's just like with a relationship, you can't really go up and marry someone straight away. So, like, not not as our teammates sort of thing, but, like, say in the team, say for, like, the team, it's, um, yeah, I'm, I want to get there as fast as I can. So I'm trying to do, like, 100% each day so I could get there as fast as I can and then, ex like, get better, you know what I mean? So, yeah. How much have you grown from, from draft day to now, just through, you know, your workouts here and then, you know, first few weeks of training camp? How, how, uh, how, how much have you grown, you know, as a player? Um, I felt I've grown a lot, like, you know, quite a quite a bit, you know what I mean? Like, it's a uh, big thanks to all the coaches right here. And, you know, I just been straight off the draft, I just came here and started working out from then on out, really. So, like, that did a really good job for me. Um, preparing me for training camp and everything else and what to expect. And, You've only been playing basketball for about six years now? Uh, where did that come from, by the way? Who's reading it. Oh, reading it? Okay. Is it not true? No, it's not true. Um, so, I started, yeah, so, well, fixing it up. I started playing when I was, like, real young, like, six years old. Okay. I think that might have been the mix-up, maybe. But, yeah, since I was six years old, um, but it wasn't my first sport. I played rugby when I was six. And then... Um, Switched to basketball when I was like 12, 13. Now, can you say this? So, clearing that up, what did you say the thing was? <laughs> that was, I mean, I was just asking about your growth. I mean, do you, do you feel like you could contribute to this team, you know, right away this season? Um, what sense? Getting minutes, you know, having a, a steady role. Steady right role? Um, I'm not sure what, what, to, well, what the minutes are or mm -hmm. something like that, but all I'm doing is say, even if it's a practice, I'm contributing, like, you know, giving 100% and Try to make sure that I like, even if it's like simulating the other team for like um, doing their plays or whatnot, anything. I just want to contribute in any way possible. Yeah. Things are happening pretty fast. Perk is hurt, Daniel Orton's gone now, so you're moving up pretty quickly. Moving up the uh, uh, depth chart? Well, I don't actually know. But <laughs> yeah, well, it's just, you know, injuries happen and stuff, but just got to do it, really. <laughs> Still work hard. The team, the team doesn't change their mindset at all. Doesn't be phased, just work around to adapt to it. Especially with this team, they're really good at adapting to any sort of situation. So, yeah. Just from an ex experience standpoint, 
what was it like playing in your first real NBA game against you know NBA competition? Um, it was, I was nervous. <laughs> At the start, I was really, really nervous because, uh, as I said, my expectations were high. I just really wanted to nail down on certain things that I wanted to accomplish. That's why I was nervous. But throughout the game, uh, it was mainly I settled down from the nervousness. Now I was just, you know, just slowing my mind down. Things were going like full speed, and then, yeah. I guess it was it was very exciting after the game, especially since we won. It was just cool to get get a game underneath the belt. So, yeah. Stephen, what's the best meal you had in Istanbul or best in Manchester? Me best meal. Best meal. Um, where do we go? Where do we go? Which city? Huh? Either one. Uh, in Istanbul that, or no, 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 Manchester. Manchester is a place called the Team Dinner. Yeah. Uh, is it Roma? Ro yeah, Roma. Yeah, Roma. Roso. Roso. Roso? If you guys go to Manchester, <laughs> go to Rosso, and this steak that they have is so class. Like, their sauce is ridiculous. Their cheesecake, I don't have cheesecake, but I'm just saying, their cheesecake's really good. <laughs> and, yeah, I'm just saying, go there if you guys are... I'm done. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Um, what was work like today in, uh, as you guys kind of continue camp back here in Oklahoma? What, like, what was practice like here today? Man... Practice. It was fun. It's always fun just to be out here with these guys. Um, a little tough getting off that plane, but luckily we got a rest yesterday. So it's fun to always get back in here, try to get things going, just work on some things, especially with season approaching so quickly. Did your bodies, your body adjust to the time zone difference over there, and did you have to adjust now coming back? Um, maybe if I was older. I'm only 23. So I think uh, I used that in my advantage. Um, I felt a little bit, like I said. Uh, I think we're all young. Most of us are, so shouldn't be a problem. We can't use an excuse. You know, we're just out here trying to get better. So, like I said, just trying to get back on this time zone. You're right about that. It did affect us a little bit, not too much. So I guess that's the perk of being young. How does it feel with your first two games now that you're the starter? You got two games under your belt as a starter this season. Uh, how, have you, how are you adjusting to that? Uh, fun, just being aggressive, trying to make the right plays for teammates, play more freely, uh, and trusting what I see, not necessarily always playing to satisfy someone, but just trust when I see out there taking advantage of mismatches and being aggressive. So it's just been fun. And uh, most importantly, like I said, I've said before at my position, all it is about wins. So I'm happy to have our team has two wins in two games. Were you surprised at all by Steven's performance, just kind of how quickly he seems to be meshing in? No, not, not since I've seen him this summer. Uh, he picks up things quickly, even though he's a big kid. A big kid. <laughs> Almost childlike, but he just picks up things and he wants to learn. So he's so hungry and so eager to get better that it's kind of, I guess we could say, we foreseen him doing well. Maybe not this well, but he picks up quickly. So he's a good part and a good piece of our team. Yeah, um, like I said, it's just like a sponge. He picks up everything so quickly and does a good job of applying it. But uh, most importantly, he always just competes on the court, plays hard, and that's kind of just the system of Oklahoma City. So. We enjoy him on our team. Kevin had 12 assists against Philly. The way he came out in that game and just distributed the ball, was that by design or did you guys just read and react to him? He just took over passing and distributing. Man, he's <laughs> he's one of the best scorers in the league, um, if not the best. So he draws so much attention that like he slowed down a little and he's finding open shooters. Unfortunately, a lot of our shots went in and out. Probably should have had around 20 assists. Hmm. But he's doing a good job of just taking what the defense gives him. Still staying aggressive, but when he does over penetrate or get guys jumping on him, two people coming at him, three people, he's getting off of it and giving us easy looks. How much are you guys going to rely on that this year with Russ out? Just him having the ball in his hands more? Uh, it's, <laughs> whatever happens, we're just playing freely. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I'm not the coach. I don't know exactly what's happening, but he's doing a good job just still staying aggressive. He did it last year. Like I said, he's finding ways to get out of double teams easier and just trust in us and we have to be ready to make shots for them. You guys have always been a speedy team, but it seemed in those first couple of games like maybe things might even be getting quicker, you know, and I don't know if that's because of familiarity, but, you know, the chances you've had to get things done in tighter spaces, that seems to be, I don't know, like there's that difference between speed and quickness and it just, am I seeing that right? Are you guys getting a little quicker maybe? Yeah, probably just jailing a little more. We're just trying to not play as much one-on-one. -on -one. Um, we know guys are going to get the opportunity, especially rushing KD, to 
stop the ball and play one-on-one, -on -one, but we're just trying to play more free-flowing and let the offense score for us rather than necessarily always doing it by talent because we know once you get later and into the playoffs, it's hard to win like that. So we're just trying to make our offense score for us and just get better moving the ball. You mentioned the three-point shooting wasn't as good as you guys like. A couple shots went in and out. Uh, but Jeremy really struggled, one of 12 from three. What would you notice about him and why he maybe struggled with his shot so much in those two games? Oh, um, I don't know. I just said ball didn't go in. You know, he's a confident shooter, so he's got to just stay confident. That's what we need him to do. I mean, he can stretch the floor. Every shot he takes inside of half court, I believe, the whole team thinks is going in. So we need him to stay aggressive. Um, he can't have any self-doubt. So that's probably the biggest thing we'll pitch to him, just keep shooting, keep trusting. And then once you get those open opportunities, let it fly. Uh, you know, it's just part of the, part of the business. You know, I, I thought I thought he's, he's he did a good job while he was here. Um, just um, we have to, we have to make cuts. We have to make uh, I'm sure a few more. But I, I wish him well. Uh, good player. I'm sure he'll get picked up. He's gone and Kendrick's hurt. So Stephen Adams more being asked of him pretty quickly. I like what Stephen has done, uh, but like I said earlier you know, last week, um, before I left, and to the media overseas that you guys weren't around, um, that he's it's still there's still so many things that he has to learn, and it's going to take him some time. But I, I like I love his effort. You know, the guy gives you everything he has. Uh, he seems to be a quick learner, but it's still, it takes, it takes some time. He has to understand what we do both ends of the floor. And the game always seems to be faster when, um, for younger players, but I think what he's done the last 10 days has been, it's good to see. It's fun to see his enthusiasm, his excitement for the game. It seemed like you had a couple good practices overseas. How much did those sessions help make today? Uh, kind of just a, a transition back to work here. You know that that was definitely a concern going into that trip because when you go when you go on a trip, uh, especially this is our first trip overseas, so I didn't know how we were going to respond with respond with the time change and just the uh, the excitement of being in a different country with uh, the group of guys that we have, but we still had great focus. We had three great practices and and really one good shoot around. Uh, we didn't have a shoot around in the early game, but. I thought we did. We got better on our on our trip. We bonded, obviously, being around the guys and seeing the guys. Uh, I enjoyed watching that part of our improvement. But we we improved as a basketball team by working and taking advantage of the time that we've had. Um, but it's good to be back. It's good to be back home, and we're excited to get back. Training camp just doesn't stop now. It's it's still going on, and we use an entire month to still get better. Coach, did you have any objectives when you went on this trip, and were they met, and what were they? Uh, the, the main thing I didn't want Ravina to go, and they we <laughs> we um, accomplished that. He he was not allowed. Claimed that he was sick. Uh, you know, I wanted um, I wanted to just to get better and, and not not look at it as just a a fun trip. But but it was a fun trip. We can't, I could not take that away from uh, from our experience. We knew that we were going to see some things that. You know, you don't get to see uh, here in the States. And it was a great, a great experience, a lot of great sights. But we still had to use those seven or eight days to keep getting better. We can't, we couldn't, uh, we couldn't afford not to. It's still, we're still a team that's going to continue to improve. We have some younger players that have to fit in and, and continue to work and get better with our team. I know it's early and you were playing games in strange arenas, but are you concerned at all about your three-point shooting overall and Jeremy Lambs in particular? Well, three-point shooting, um, it does. It, it helps when we make three-point shots, and we've been a great three-point shooting team the last year, and I, I still anticipate that. You know, Jer Jeremy hasn't shot the ball well, but I believe in what he does. He, he continues to work on his game, and like all of our players, we're focusing on defense, um, but the shots will eventually fall for him. He's, he works extremely hard on, on his game, uh, he has missed some shots that he's going to continue to get. They're going to be open looks, and he's going to be able to step up and stick them in. Uh, I believe in that, and I think our guys do. His defense, though, at least looking at the numbers, has been really good those first two games. Uh, that's, a, that's a tough part in all of our players is to really commit to that and stay with it and stay focused on all of our younger players. 
Uh, but he, I like what he has done. You know, he's, he's, uh, he's a gifted, smooth player offensively, but I like his activity on the defensive end. He has, he has good length, which we like on all of our players. We have a, uh, we, we're long armed in all of our positions and we, we want to use those arms. And I think he has the ability to be uh, part of that same defensive mold that we like. Can Kevin take another step as a passer? Just the Philly game really stood out. Did he take another step this off season? Yeah, you know, I thought he's, he did that last last year, made a jump, and I think we're going to see another jump. Uh, he has to be, continue to be a playmaker and, and get easy shots for other guys. Um, you know, his role is obviously the score for us, but it's also to help guys score and, and what great players do, and he is a great player. He makes his teammates better. Uh, he doesn't want to not do that. He loves uh, making his teammates better. I thought he made as many good reads as he has – um, ever in that game and throughout the game, not just to start the game. He did it throughout the game, and, and it helps. You know, once we start making some of those shots down, uh, knocking some of those shots in, I think um, it's going to add to what we do offensively. How much of that was by design? Because I guess on the outside looking in, it's almost like you look at Russell being out and Kevin just naturally taking on more of the scoring, but he does the opposite and starts facilitating. Was that by design, or did he just kind of take that upon himself? No, I mean, it's by design. We want all of our playmakers to continue to look for guys that need help scoring. I mean, we have guys that can do a lot of things offensively, but they need help. And he has the ability to get um, shots for Tobble, uh, get shots for Surge, and, and get shots for all of our bigs. You know, and, and Kevin Kevin is an unselfish as you come, and it's it's – for him to be able to be the lead leading scorer for many years, or just not this past year, but uh, but he still always looks to make the right play, and we need that from him. Whether he's open and he has the chance to get a guy a better shot, he's willing to do that, and I love that about him. Coming off of this trip, uh, how do you manage the process of getting your guys back into a normal routine? Well, that's a great question. Um, it's a process that we're all going through, and uh, this is something I'm understanding for the first time. You know, I, I haven't been overseas in 20 years, and, and you know, the time change does affect you. There's no question, but I like what we did today. We came in and, and fought through. If we did have any fatigue or jet lag, we came in and did our job. You know, I'm sure guys woke up earlier than normal or went to bed later, um, but I, I thought they did a good job. It's going to probably take a couple more days, but there's no excuse, and, and our guys, they're going to still come out and, and still do the job that we all ask them to do in practice. Thanks, Coach. The players and Coach Brooks, as you uh, saw there, all in good moods today and seemed like they were well-rested. A trip to Europe, though, kind of messed up everybody's body clock, and today's practice was extra long, going about two and a half hours. They will continue with these workouts all the way up until Tuesday when the Denver Nuggets are in town for the very first home preseason game at Chesapeake Energy Arena. Check back off and we'll be updating the blogs and the videos right here on ThunderGameReport.com.